Good morning. Uh, the United States is very proud that we had a long overdue meeting here of the UN Security Council today, and we are uh, equally proud to stand with the Venezuelan people as they uh, protest and restore democracy in their nation. Uh, former President Maduro's uh, socialist experiment has ruined a once proud nation, as I said earlier, and we're, we stand with the Venezuelan people to restore democracy and return that country to its uh, rightful condition. We've got a whole nation starving, massive malnutrition, refugees fleeing. Uh, this is an, an international crisis, to be sure. Uh, and nations like Cuba and Russia and China have shamefully cast their lot in support of the former president. They don't have the best interests of the Venezuelan people at heart. Uh, we, uh, we hope that every nation will join us in recognizing interim president Juan Guaido. And we hope, too, that each of those nations will ensure that uh, they disconnect their financial systems from the Maduro regime and allow the assets that belong to the Venezuelan people to go to the rightful governors of that state. And we hope, too, we hope, too, that this uh, peaceful transition can continue. We must stand for the rule of law and support the leader who the Venezuelan people have affirmed through their constitution as the interim president of their country. Happen to take a couple questions. Hi. Um, thank you. Hi. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Michelle Nichols from Reuters. A um, couple of questions. First of all, in there, the Russian ambassador had a very direct question for you about uh, the U.S. taking military action. If you'd like to answer that here, feel free. Uh, what economic measures does the U.S. plan to impose on Venezuela? And do you think the Venezuelan opposition should assume the U.N. seat here? And does the U.S. plan to draft a General Assembly resolution to make that happen? Uh, Michelle, uh, I'll, let me take two of those three questions. Uh, first, uh, this is the first step of what we hope will be uh, real progress here at the United Nations. We think every member of the United Nations ought to join in support of the Venezuelan people. So we will continue to work to get uh, more and more support. We're already a great deal along the way. And we do think that there will be appropriate resolutions uh, when the time is right, and we'll certainly support those. Uh, they won't come just from us. Um, they'll come from other nations who care deeply about the Venezuelan people as well. Um, the other two questions involve what the United States will do next. I'm not going to speculate or hypothesize. Um, I know only this. We're, we're determined to support the Venezuelan people so that they can ultimately have uh, the democratic institutions they deserve and they can return this once uh, vibrant, wealthy, wonderful nation to its rightful place. Mr. Secretary, so, Voice of America, Voice of America, Celia Mendoza. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary. Um, so what exactly are you prepared to do for the Venezuelan people? You had announced the $20 million in humanitarian aid. And um, also today you said something in your speech. It is time for every nation to pick its side. Will the U.S. consider uh, secondary sanctions against countries who recognize the Maduro regime like Washington did in Iran? So the United States has already done a great deal for the Venezuelan people. We will continue to do that. You mentioned the, uh, uh, the initial monies, $20 million dollars. Uh, to ensure that uh, food and medicine and um, we can get some level of order to begin to be restored. There'll be much more to do. We'll call upon other nations. We will join with them to uh, create development and humanitarian assistance projects that actually deliver for the Venezuelan people. Those are all part of what will uh, come when we get the democratic changes that uh, we're working towards achieving. You had a second question, too? About secondary sanctions, yeah, possibly. I, again, I'm not going to speculate on, on what other processes uh, the United States might un undertake, but know uh, that we think now that the, the uh, National Assembly is the rightful governing body. They've chosen Interim President Juan Guaido to represent them. And so we think that the resources that belong to the Venezuelan people ought to go to the leaders that they have, under their constitution, duly elected. Anybody that will do business with them? I'm not going to. I'm not going to speculate on what we're going to do last next. Uh, Associated Press, Edith Lederer, please. Edith. I'm sorry. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Secretary, it's Pamela Falk from CBS. How concerned are you about the military to military contact between Russia? and the deliveries of equipment last month 
to Venezuela, and have you had any contact with the military of Venezuela? Thank you. So I spoke this morning about uh, Cuban security and Russian influence, Russian interference. Uh, we want the Venezuelan people to have their say. And so uh, the, the Russians have chosen to support uh, the Maduro regime. I hope they'll change their way. I hope they will come to see uh, that the rightful uh, people to run this country are those that the Venezuelan people chose. And so we'll have conversations with every country, including the Russians. We'll talk with the Chinese. We'll talk with everyone. We think the whole world ought to get behind what it is that the Venezuelan people have demanded for their country. Thank you. Thank you all. This is a warning for the countries like Nicaragua.